Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today, if you haven't guessed by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys and giving you an updated tour of what's under my kitchen sink cupboard. This changes or has changed quite a lot and also in our old house it did change quite a bit as well. So I'll link those videos down below if you want to go and check them out. But nowadays I do like to keep it really simplified and just everything mainly at the front. There is quite a lot of space in this cupboard however I just don't need it. I have very minimal cleaning products now and I like everything to be visible from the front for both Ben and I. So let's take you through what's in the main part of the cupboard. I'm going to put everything back so you would have just seen me cleaning it. First up I have this large Tupperware container. I picked this up in Poundland years ago and I mainly wanted it just as a bowl so I could fill it up with warm water and washing up liquid and take it around the house say if I wanted to clean the skirting boards or the glass on the doors and things like that so this is good to have and I store this right as far as it will go at the back here but also I don't use this all the time so I do store a couple of things inside it and the first one is this trainer washing bag so when I'm cleaning Ben and I's trainers the idea is you can wash them and keep them contained so they don't get tangled in this bag in the washing machine and the other thing I have is the eco egg I use this quite a lot it is really great because you don't need any extra washing powder or fabric softener. You literally just put this on top of the clothes and it washes everything just the same. I can't remember how many washes this lasts, but it is a good amount of washes before you need to change the pellet inside and that is what I need to do at the moment. So I've just been using other stuff. Then the rest of this shelf at the back, I don't store anything as I mentioned. I just like to keep it really nice and clean and tidy and not cluttered. So here at the front, I have three jars that I'm going to show you that have things that I use on a weekly basis. And the first one is bicarb of soda. I just pick up the ones in the cooking section from Aldi and every time we go I just buy another one to top it up. And the scoop in there I got from a body exfoliator and it's the perfect size. And the bicarb I mostly use for cleaning around the house but I also use this in the dishwasher as a replacement to a dishwasher tablet. I just started using this with white vinegar and fresh lemons that I have left over when I have lemon tea in the morning. Next I have small white bin liners. These are for all the bathroom bins. I just thought they looked good in this glass container. So when I buy a new roll, I just separate them all and put them in here so they're easy just to pick up a couple when I go to change the bins. Then the last thing I have is just wash pods for the laundry. I tend to use these when I'm not using the eco egg but I do use the eco egg more. If I am using these I use instead of fabric softener I just use white vinegar in the tray at the top where you would put the fabric softener and that for me just works as well. Also these three containers are from Sainsbury's. They do a larger one and slightly different shape ones but this is the smaller version and it's wonderful for storing these kinds of things. Okay moving on to the second shelf the bit at the back has more space and then this bit of the front is quite an awkward shape so I've tried to accommodate the sizes with regards to the sink you can't fit anything as tall here as you can here and at the back so first of all here I store anti-back wipes I mostly use these for the toilets these just work really well in the bathrooms so the ones I always pick up now well most of them are really like that are the biodegradable ones that have no bleach and no odour. And then next to this, I just have a small jar of white vinegar so that I can use in the dishwasher and the washing machine. And I fill this up 
from the large white vinegar container. You've probably seen me use that as well. I bulk buy it off Amazon. It's just the distilled white vinegar. I'll have it linked down below. The next to that is one of these Curva baskets. And in here, I saw the larger bin liners for the kitchen bin. And also this brush that I use for cleaning trainers with. This came off a carpet cleaner, the Dr. Beckman's one. But this is a really great brush for cleaning trainers with the pink stuff. And also in here is a spare dishmatic sponge. So I do like to use the dishmatic sponge. I don't fill it up, I literally just use the scrubber part. But I love this because it has the handle and it's so great for cleaning bathroom sinks and really getting in there. And then another tool I have is just an old toothbrush. We have a toothpaste subscription and every time we get our new toothpaste, we also get a new bamboo toothbrush. These are biodegradable, so I'll just throw the old cleaning one away and then replace it with the one that I have been using for cleaning. Then next to that, I have my two cleaning sprays. The first one is the distilled white vinegar and water. These bottles are glass and the spray part is BPA free. I picked these up off Amazon. They come in a two pack. I know you can get them in a three pack as well. And then this part down the bottom, this rubber part was actually off some old cleaning sprays, but this fits perfectly onto this glass container. It's just so I know which is which. So this is the white vinegar and water that is great for cleaning basically anything and everything. And then the other multi-use cleaner is just washing up liquid and water. And both are my absolute go tos I either use them on their own or together. One thing that I have had to buy recently is some loop cleaner because we do have really hard water here and it is hard to get the toilet super clean with just the washing out liquid and bicarb. So this is great to have on hand once in a while. So I just store this right at the back here. And then one of my favorite all time miracle multi-use cleaners on tougher stains is the pink stuff. They now do this in a bigger tub, which is amazing. It's so cheap and it works on absolutely everything. I usually use this with the toothbrush or the dishmatic sponge. Okay, moving on to the inside of the cupboard. I have these hooks that I stuck on so I can hang all of my cleaning cloths. So first off on this side, I have my bathroom cleaning gloves, as well as one of the minky cloths. I absolutely love these cloths. They don't pick up dust. They're really great for cleaning glass and windows. Then next to that is my kitchen gloves, as well as another minky cloth for around the kitchen. Then I have this duster that I picked up in Sainsbury's. I picked this up quite recently because I wanted one that I could just take off this part and put it in the washing machine. So it just unclips here and I just keep this there. Then down on these two hooks here, I have a bathroom cloth. I think this is from Marigold, but this has been my favorite cloth for such a long time. I love it for cleaning up in the bathroom because it doesn't pick up dust also. And then I also have a scrub mummy. I do like these, but I don't love them. I kind of buy them now and again, uh, but this is good for scrubbing down the bathtub. Next to this is a blue flat cloth that comes in a Spontex kitchen cloth kit. I don't have the yellow cloth anymore, but I really love this blue flat one for cleaning the kitchen cupboards and wiping down surfaces. So that goes there and then on top I have a minky for wiping down in the kitchen. Everything's a little bit wet and dirty because I have just used them. But generally every couple of weeks I will pop all of these kitchen cloths and the duster in the washing machine and give them a good wash just so they're nice and clean and ready to be used again. And then if anything is damp, I just let it 
dry outside of the covers and then I'll hook it back up here. These hooks, by the way, are literally just stationary clips, but I find these so handy to hang everything up on the hooks. And that is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed taking a tour of what's in my kitchen sink cupboard with regards to all my cleaning supplies. Give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you be a part of the PBB community. I hope you all had a great week and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye!